High Brazil is a mythical island that is said to exist off the west coast of the Emerald Isle Island. High Brazil is often described as Ireland's answer to Atlantis, the infamous lost city immortalized by the ancient Greek Plato. However, no traces remain today of the mythical island High Brazil. It is supposedly located roughly 200 miles off the Irish west coast. It can be seen on maps that span as far back as 1325 AD, right up to the 19th century. Indeed, the myth still lives on, yet the question of whether this mythical island ever really existed or is just ancient lore is what we will investigate. It is known by many names, High Brazil, High Brazil, Brazier, and Brazil are all commonly seen on old maps and in text referencing the mythical island. The origin of the name High Brazil is unclear, but it is believed to have come from the Irish language meaning Isle of the Blessed. It is also believed to have been derived from the Irish term Ui Breasail, which translates to Kinsman of the High King. Despite the similarity, it has nothing to do with the South American country Brazil. However, this is a common misconception in part because they are linked in J.R.R. Tolkien's essay on fairy stories. It's off the west coast of Ireland. According to legend, the island is forever blanketed in thick fog and is invisible to the naked eye from the mainland or high seas. However, one day, every seven years, the fog is said to lift and reveal a Eden that exists in the North Atlantic Ocean. However, even when the fog has lifted, the legend tells that the island is near impossible to reach. Although this is a local Irish legend, the legend of High Brazil has captivated people throughout Europe and has been a topic of discussion and debate for centuries. And when compared to ancient Greece's Atlantis, High Brazil is well documented, with first-person accounts on record some relatively recent in comparison, just a couple of hundred years. Over the centuries, many explorers and adventurers have taken the challenge and set sail in search of High Brazil. Some notable attempts include, in 1480, Bristol, England, bailiff John Jay Jr. left land in pursuit of the island. After two months of searching, he returned, having failed to find or touch its shores. A few years later, in 1481, more ships departed from Bristol. This time, the ships the Trinity and the George left from Bristol Harbour, but once again returned without a sighting of the mythical island. Some, however, claim to have had better luck. In 1497, Spanish diplomat Pedro de Ayala reported to the Spanish monarchs that John Cabot, the Italian navigator and notably the first European to discover North America since the Vikings, had sailors under his charge who had not only discovered Newfoundland, but also High Brazil. The Spanish diplomat stated it as fact that sailors from Bristol had set foot on High Brazil. High Brazil re-emerges again in the 17th century. A manuscript of 1636 states that Captain Rich of Dublin and several members of his crew spotted an island with a harbour and headlands west of Ireland, which vanished in mist by virtue of its supposed inhabitants, who were adept in the magical arts. Later, in 1674, it is claimed that the mythical island was reached. It is said that on passing the Atlantic from France to Ireland, Scottish sea captain John Nisbet spotted High Brazil and sent men ashore to bask in the glory of its golden shores. After stories of John Nisbet's success, more explorers were inspired to reach High Brazil. Captain Alexander Johnson was next to return, claiming to have successfully reached the mysterious island. Bizarre claims by Nisbet that large black rabbits and a mysterious magician inhabited the island were confirmed by Captain Johnson, and the authenticity of High Brazil appeared to be cemented. As time moved on, however, reputable reports of sightings dwindled in numbers. The last known report of the island was in 1872 by Robert O'Flaherty and T.J. Westrop. As an accomplished antiquarian, folklorist and archaeologist, Westrop claims he not only reached the island, but also brought his entire family in tow. Westrop's claims that he saw the mythical island appear and vanish before his very eyes are of course strongly disputed. As time marched on, increased failed attempts to reach the island overshone previous successful pursuits, and the legend of High Brazil slowly started to fade back into the mist. Soon after, maps began to exclude its presence in the Atlantic Ocean, and the island would be left to fade into legend. 
the centuries. The first known documented record of High Brazil appeared on an early map in 1325 by the Genoese cartographer Angelino Dulcet. In 1375 it was seen in the Catalan Atlas but as two separate islands existing as one under the name of Ilha de Brasil. It was named Sola de Brasil in 1436 on a Venetian map curated by the cartographer Andrea Bianco, and in 1595 it appeared again in the Ortelius map of Europe and Europa Mercator map. The final time we see High Brazil on a map is in 1865, and it is referred to as the Brazil Rock. By the late Victorian period, after so many failed attempts to reach the island, and with the confusion over its existence, most cartographers had chosen to stop featuring it. When shown, the island is consistently seen as a round-shaped landmass with a waterway or river channel running through it from east to west. The mystery of He Brazil continues to beguile and fascinate. Did the island really exist or is it just a myth, a old sailor's tale? We may never know for certain. While in the past some have claimed sighting and visits, their evidence remains inconclusive at best. The story of High Brazil remains shrouded in mist and myth, whatever. The truth about this mysterious island may be, one thing is for certain, it will remain immortalised in ancient maps, local Irish folklore and popular mythology for many generations to come. Thank you for watching. Support the channel by liking and subscribing.